based on my experience, sexual activities are rampant in our prisons. Homosexual life in prison. We weren't brief about this, but we were aware of these things. So we take all the necessary precautions to keep ourselves free from this. I, you, I just saw it, so nobody told me. You know, it was, I said it wasn't, you know, it was more of a hush-hush. I said it wasn't as publicized as it, as it is today. They're crowded, they're um, dark, old, filthy cells, without sanitary conveniences. They're not conducive to good health. By entering prisons, prisoners are condemned to imprisonment for their crimes. They should not be condemned to HIV and AIDS. There is no doubt that governments have a moral and legal responsibility to prevent the spread of HIV among prisoners and prison staff and to care for those infected. They also have a responsibility to prevent the spread of HIV among communities. Prisoners are the community. They come from the community, they return to it. Protection of prisoners is the protection of our communities. Quite frankly, we have to think in terms of people in prison come out. What one wants to come out of prison is somebody who has been helped, who has been comforted, who has been made a better person. Not somebody who has been raped and abused and infected and untreated because they come back out, if that's the circumstances, they come back out angry. I will tell you, you see, during the night, as we are seeing the movie, these things happen. An inmate who goes through these abuse will never come out and speak. They are so hurt, they are so destroyed, that sometimes it, it, is, it is hard for even them to even explain these things. And all you can hear is scream. You are from a black over another side, and it's not that you're going to see these things because every man is in a housing. It's not just inmates but officials. You'll find to see some of the people who are involved into these things.